Hello, in today's video I will show you how to create an adaptive piping wall penetration family in Autodesk Revit in a few simple steps. Let's get started. Create a new family using the metric generic model template. In our case we will use a template we've created previously based on the same family type. Then go to the front view and create two circles using the extrusion tool, one inside the other. Label the circle dimensions, outer diameter, assign it a value representing the casing, outer diameter, inner diameter, define it as a outer diameter minus the casing thickness. Click apply and label the dimensions. The casing geometry is now complete. Next. Use the void form to create the penetration. Set the outer diameter of the void form equal to the outer diameter of the casing. Save the family, but uncheck the cut geometry option to the void form. That completes the void form. Then go to the top view, add four reference planes, two for the casing, two for the void form, link the geometry to the reference planes, set the void form to maintain a 50 mm distance from the casing and lock it in place. Add pipe connectors to the family, assign their diameter to the family nominal diameter property. Change the family type to pipe accessories and set the part type to a brakes intro. Add two dimensions to define the casing length, label them L1 and L2. Use the shared parameter file to create a property for the casing length, so it can be adjusted after insertion into the model. Then update the family description, in this case we will call it wall penetration. Set the preferred references for the planes linked to the casing. These references will serve as an anchor point to adjust the casing length. Load the family into your model. If something isn't working as expected, check the family for errors. For example, we're missing assigning one of the diameters in our test. Ensure that diameter 1 and diameter 2 are properly linked to the nominal diameter. Then load the family. Once you position the family in the model, you may notice that the opening does not appear automatically. This is because the opening needs to be manually created using the cut tool. To do this, Ensure that the cut geometry checkbox is selected in the family setting before loading it into the project. Load the family in your project, place the family in desired location on the wall, use the cut tool. Select the wall in which you want the opening to appear, then select the family to cut the wall and create the opening. Now the wall will display the opening as intended. Now let's test the family. The penetration opening moves with the pipe. When the pipe size changes, the opening size adjusts accordingly. And that's it. You've successfully created an adaptive piping wall penetration family in Autodesk Revit. Thank you for watching. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more Revit's tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.